During sexual intercourse, about four milliliters of semen, containing as many as 400 million sperm cells, are deposited in the female's vagina. Most of these sperm will die within 48 hours. If fertilization takes place, the sperm usually meet the ovum in the fallopian tube, requiring the sperm cells to swim from the upper vagina through the cervix and across the length of the uterus before reaching the fallopian tube, a considerable distance compared to the size of the sperm cell. Once the ovum fuses with a single sperm cell, its cell membrane changes, preventing fusion with other sperm. This process ultimately leads to the formation of a cell called a zygote, the union of an ova and a sperm. Each cell in our body contains 46 chromosomes, except for the female egg cell and the male sperm cell. These cells, called sex cells or gametes, each contain 23 chromosomes. Chromosomes are made up of smaller units called genes. Genes carry the coded information for every person's heredity in molecules called DNA. This genetic code is the blueprint for building a new person with characteristics from the father and the mother. Genes determine what color eyes a person will have, what color hair, how tall, how big their feet will be, even personality traits and predispositions to disease. Two chromosomes, the X and Y chromosomes, determine the sex of a person. Ova possess only X chromosomes, while sperm have either an X or a Y chromosome. An X from the female gamete and an X from the male gamete would produce a female offspring. Likewise, an X from the female gamete and a Y from the male gamete will produce a male offspring. During fertilization, the two sets of chromosomes combine. Within hours of fertilization, the zygote begins to develop and travels along the fallopian tube, reaching the uterus in approximately three days. When the zygote reaches the uterus and implants in the endometrium, the female is said to be pregnant. For the first eight weeks, the developing organism is called an embryo. During this period, cells differentiate into specific body parts and organs. A temporary organ implanted in the uterine wall and present only during pregnancy, called the placenta, provides the fetus with oxygen and nutrients and takes away waste, such as carbon dioxide, via the umbilical cord. Beginning at week 9, the embryo is called a fetus. By week 20, halfway through the pregnancy, the fetus is about 20 centimeters in length. <laughs> 